Animals turn into zombies with just one bite? If you've ever watched the movies related to zombies, you must have known the strange transformation that makes a living body become inanimate like a corpse, but extremely ferocious and stupid. Hunger gratification. This seemingly never before seen thing actually happened to animals. In today's video, let's learn about these interesting mysteries. Let's go. Animals turn into zombies with just one bite. Unlike zombies in horror movies, who are all corpses, real life zombies still live, eat, and sleep normally. However, all of its activities were controlled and controlled by others without even knowing it. People often understand zombies as corpses that are recircuited by mysterious methods, such as magic. So what mysterious magic animals do you have that we don't know about? This Ambilux Compressa bee has the ability to turn cockroaches into genuine zombies. This Ambilux does not stealthily lay eggs on cockroaches, but stings and injects venom into the cockroaches first. It injects venom directly into the cockroach's brain. The venom consists of neurotoxins that serve to prevent the initiation of complex movements. Once the venom has taken effect, the Ampelex breaks down the cockroach's antenna and drinks the cockroach's blood. And then, the hypnotized person will become as docile as a puppy, letting the owner lead wherever he goes. Once the cockroach is brought into a burrow, the Ampelex lays an egg on the cockroach and builds a strong castle to protect its only egg. When the Ampelux eggs begin to hatch, the larvae feed on the cockroach's body, feed on the internal organs, and all of this happens while the cockroach is still alive. Finally, the larvae desert off the cockroach's nervous system. But that's not the end. When the cockroaches nod until the body is empty, the larvae will secrete an antibacterial fluid on the internal surfaces of the corcus. During this next month, the larva puppet inside the cockroach's shell. Finally, it'll tear the cockroach's body to get out and also end the host's life. One, two, three, transfiguration. Resident Evil, left for dead. Dead Island. Famous games associated with the image of zombies groaning, rotting, and always hungry. The zombies have lost the human part of the body. The body only moves to serve the remaining instinctive purpose, which is to eat. Not as strong as werewolves, not as sinister as vampires, and not as haunting as ghosts. In movies and games, the greatest strength of zombies is the ability to spread quickly. Just one bite and you will quickly be standing in the ranks of zombies. Cordyceps turns the ant into a zombie slave, forcing it to climb to the top of the nearest tree and clamp its jaws to a branch or leaf to death. The fungus then slowly swallows the ant, transforms it into a tree, and grows through its head and hijacks the host's perception. Until adulthood, cordyceps will give birth to a series of new spores, ready to burst into the air to find its next ill-fated victim. The ant ends its life as a prisoner in its own body. Its brain is still in the driver's seat, but the mushroom is the one holding the steering wheel. You just imagine it like a toy car. 
The car only knows how to move according to the player's arrangement without completely knowing its direction. It only takes 4 to 14 days to complete a life cycle of these zombie ants. Cordyceps can completely destroy an entire ant colony if the conditions are favorable. But why were Cordyceps able to take control of their infectious hosts? According to the researchers, the fungus did not directly affect the infected ant's brain, but it did disrupt the membrane, covering the jaw muscle fibers. And then, Cordyceps causing contractions strong enough to disrupt the structure and functioning of the muscle fibers, causing them to contract without being able to straighten. The parasitic fungal disease can be described as a chronic disease that can be controlled but cannot be cured. It's sad that ants have to live with this monstrous disease, the same way humans have to live with the global COVID pandemic. Let's admire these snails with magical eyes performing rather than inviting predators to enjoy themselves. Why do snails act in such a crazy way as monsters? This is the culprit who caused this action. It is the Leucochloridium parasite that exists in the intestines of birds. They are dispersed through the gastrointestinal tract of bird droppings. And unfortunately, one fine day, the snail accidentally ate this delicious dish. Congratulations, their nightmare began here. When the eggs of the parasites enter the snail's body, they will hatch into larvae. Then, they are gouged directly into the snail's eyes. These snails are infected with flatworms, and they try to climb tall trees lying in exposed positions. These colorful larvae, when exposed to sunlight, will begin to stir making the snail's eyes look like a caterpillar. They will make the snails brighter and turn into delicious prey that attacks countless birds. Then, the internal organs of the birds begin to continue to reproduce and lay eggs, and a new cycle begins. Our minds are controlled by us. However, that is not entirely true for many animals. Parasites are a very common thing in the natural world, even humans, but there are some very bizarre parasites that can turn their host's body into a zombie, take over, and control the host's body. However, zombies, like werewolves or vampires, are just a product of some people's imagination or trickery. So maybe you won't have to worry about it when you die. Assured, you will not become a zombie. Today's video ends here. Thank you all for watching all of our videos. How did you guys see today's video? Don't forget to click the subscribe button, like, and share this video. Goodbye and see you again!